What's up and welcome to another episode of Gizmo Slip Tech. Today we're talking about the new Acer Nitro 8 and 11. I think those are the names. Uh, they're the new handheld mobiles from Acer and they, they seem very promising. Uh, in a lot of ways, they look very similar to what we've seen from uh, the Legion Go and the Asus ROG Ally, which I have right here. I did some detailed testing and reviewing of this, uh, and this is going to have slightly different hardware um, than this new Acer Nitro 8. We're going to go over pricing, detailed specs today, um, and everything about this laptop, uh, this new handheld. It's going to be awesome. All right, so we got some pictures here, just to give you an idea of what it looks like. We got two joysticks, uh, one on each side, some utility buttons over here, probably a power mode switch button is this red button, I imagine. Then we got a directional pad. Along the top, we have two USB-Cs, power button, volume rocker. Um, and I believe on the bottom, we have a USB-A a headphone port. We'll go over all the ports here in a moment, but there's quite a few ports on this guy. There's three USBs on this thing, which is very impressive for a handheld. Okay. And there's also the 11-inch version of this, which we're also going to go over at the end of this video, though the details on that are not as available yet, but there's still very detailed information about it. So here we go. Acer, Acer under embargo until January 6th. So that's like right now, literally like right now uh, when I'm filming this video and I'll be releasing this video right away. Uh, so the Nitro Mobile Gaming Controller and the new Nitro Blaze 8 and Nitro Blaze 11. So these are the new handhelds. They're going to feature the Ryzen 8040 series. So I believe it's a... When we go down here, we can see the exact resolution. And so it's an 8840HS, which we're going to go over here in a moment. But this does include an NPU. It supports up to 39 AI tops. Get, get, get the tops, want lots of tops in your handheld, I guess, you know, because you need that, right? But one thing that is really striking about this handheld, look at the resolution, 2560 by 1600 IPS, 144 hertz, 500 nits, 10 point touch panel with 97% P3 color gamut. So we're talking about a really high end display, higher resolution than the Ally, brighter than the Ally, um, and a lot more colorful than the Ally too, uh, so it very, it's 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 it should be a quite a upgrade in terms of screen. Not to mention that the screen is quite a bit larger at 8.8 .8 inches, so this is a beefier gaming device. One USB C um, that's 40 gigabits, so it's USB four, right? USB four Type C, and then a USB 3.2 Type C. So you have two of those, and then you'll have one USB 3.2 Type A and a micro SD card slot on top of that. So very, very impressive um, ports, for sure. Big time, big time on the ports. You also have a microphone audio jack, 3.5 millimeters, so you don't have to use Bluetooth headphones with this. That's also really nice. And it's a 55-watt-hour lithium uh, polymer battery. So it's a fairly large battery for a handheld as well. That's, like, bigger than some laptop batteries. 65-watt uh, USB-C adapter is included, Wi-Fi 6E, Bluetooth 5.3, it weighs 720 grams. I'm pretty sure that's heavier than the Ally by a noticeable bit. I mean, it's a larger screen. You would expect it to be heavier as well. Now, here is the Nitro Blaze 11, which if I can just, I'll just flash to some photos here of the Nitro Blaze 11. Uh, let's go to here. So here's the Blaze 11. And you can see it's huge. This thing is like a laptop in your hands, but you can game with it kind of situation. Um, it would probably be amazing to use on an airplane. Though it might be a, a little bit big for some people. Um, this thing's already going to be pretty big for some people. I feel like this is probably more the ideal in, a, in, a, in an airplane. Uh, just because you got to tuck those elbows. I don't know. All right, so going back to the specs, let's go over the specs here for the Blaze 11. So the Blaze 11 features the same processor, Ryzen 7 8840HS, 8-core, 16-thread, 5.1 gigahertz on the max boost, Ryzen AI. The GPU on this is the 780M, just like on here. It's also the 780M, which is, it's good. It's RDNA 3, 12 CPUs. This is going to be very, very good, and it's going to be pretty similar to the ROG Ally in terms of gaming performance. But as we know, the ROG Ally kind of struggles when you get up to that higher resolution, so I would expect to use more upscaling to get higher FPS. Um... Honestly, at this small of a screen, I probably would have recommended them going to the 1080p display, uh, but maybe this is just all they could get. 
Another excellent display, 11, 10.95 inches, 2560 by 1600 IPS, 120 hertz this time instead of 144, 500 nits, 10 point touch, 98% DCI-P3 color gamut. That's insane. It should be, a, it should be an amazing display to use for gaming. Um, so that's the Nitro Blaze 11. Let's see our look. Let's look at the ports. I think it's the same. We got a USB 4, USB 3.2, a USB A, a micro SD. I think it's it's very similar. Same size battery and everything. To me, to me, I'm not gonna lie. The the Nitro Blaze 8 is probably calling my name a little bit more than the Blaze 11, just because of the portability factor, and the fact that it has the same performance and the same ports. It's just bigger. And some people would love that. Like, if they're mainly going to be gaming on your couch or something, you're spacious and you just want something awesome in your hands, maybe an 11-inch is the way to go. Uh, but if you're going to be taking this on planes and buses and trains and cars, I feel like the 8 might be a bit more, a bit more uh, realistic in terms of being able to comfortably game on the go with it and pull it out of your backpack easily and put it back in more easily. I don't know. Uh, so it should be very fast RAM with 16 gigs of LPDDR5X RAM. Now, this is smaller than the 24 gigs available on the ROG Ally X, so keep that in mind. Um, and we're obviously, I think, going to get more handhelds to come out from the other companies. Asus is probably going to release a new one. Lenovo is definitely releasing a new one. Um, so there's going to be more competition for this Nitro Blaze 8 and 11, without a doubt. Um, Pricing is $899 for the Nitro Blaze 8, which kind of makes sense. It's a higher-end chassis, more ports, and a better display than the Ally. But I feel like this product may be dead in the water in some senses. Not really dead in the water. It's still going to appeal to some people more than the Ally and the other products, but uh, just because of the screen. The screen's really amazing looking. Um, that said, we're talking about... Uh, we're talking about the new processor coming out, and this is the previous processor. Like, this is one that was available in 2024. So when people are looking for the next-gen tech and they want to pay a premium price, this seems like a pretty premium price at $899. Um, you know, you're looking at having to pay a lot for this laptop or this, this device, essentially this computer, uh, and game on it and all that, but you're buying last-gen tech at a premium price, which is the main reason why I think this is going to struggle to sell too well, because most people are going to want the latest and greatest, which, you know, this is the current, this is the processor that's in here. It's a Zen 4, 8-core, 16-thread. It's a nice processor. It's going to be great for productivity, great for gaming. Um... It's not going to be the fastest processor by any means, but it's plenty fast for the vast majority of users to even just use as a general computer. That said, the new Ryzen Zen like Z2 Extreme processor is out. So this, the Z1 Extreme was what was in the ROG Ally, and this is going to have the Z2. I don't know if it's going to be that big of a graphics upgrade. It's going to have the 890M, which I recently tested in a gaming test uh, just, what was it, two days ago. So if you want to see the performance in several different games for this new 890M, you can check that out already in the Strix Point versus Intel Core Ultra 9 live stream that I did a couple days ago. Um, and it's good. Like, it was a lot of games played really well at QHD resolution with some upscaling from balanced or performance, and you're still getting fluid frame rates in the 45 to 60 plus range for things like the Witcher 3 on low, uh, Cyberpunk 2077, a bunch of other games, definitely very playable with this GPU, even at the QHD resolution, as long as you're using upscaling, which is obviously makes it not really the high resolution, so take it or leave it, you know? Um, that said, this is not the processor we're getting in the Nitro 8. This is probably what it's going to be in things like the ROG Ally 2 or the Lenovo Go, whatever the next version of the Lenovo Go is going to be. So... Yeah, we already know that the, I believe we already know, this article talks about it, that the Lenovo is going to get the Zen 2 or the Z2 Go, which is like the lightweight, uh, only four core, eight thread part here. So in the future, we're going to have three Zen 2 or Z2 Extreme, Z2, and Z2 Go. Now the Z2 Extreme is going to have the highest GPU performance with 16 graphics cores. And the Z2 is going to have similar cores and threads, but only 12 graphics cores. And then the Z2 Go is only four cores, eight threads, 
and 12 graphics cards, more for like a budget handheld as the Z2 Go. So I'm expecting the Lenovo 2 Go version to be like the cheapest version of the, the processor, right? So the, the Ryzen Z1 Extreme had 12 RDNA 3 compute units with the 780M. So we're looking at a 33% increase in the compute units for the new GPU. And that's going to be a pretty big upgrade. Like 33% more graphics cores is going to mean that ROG Alley 2 is probably going to be at least 33% faster overall in terms of performance for graphics throughput. So, and it'll probably be 33% faster than the Nitro 8 as well. Um, that said, it depends on what games you're going to want to play and how future-proof you want it to be. But if I was going to spend close to $1,000 on a handheld, I'd probably want to make sure I got the latest tech. So that's probably the biggest con right now to the Nitro Blaze 8 and Nitro Blaze 11. Let's go over some more pictures. So here is the back of the Nitro Blaze 8. Here is the bottom. You can see the micro SD card slot, as well as the headphone port along the bottom and the USB-A, some speaker outputs. And along the top, we have our dual fan exhaust, bumper buttons and trigger buttons as well. Two USB uh, uh, type C's, one USB 4 here. Very, very cool to see the support of the ports on this little handheld. It's I love to see more ports being supported by the company. Um, just because I'm I'm tired of having super minimal ports on a handle, I'd love to see four USBs on a handheld, quite frankly. Two USB-A's, two USB-C's, so you can really plug in those peripherals when you get it home without needing a dock station. You could plug in keyboard, mouse, and your monitor with a power throughput or something without needing a docking station. That would be pretty sweet. Um, so here's the Nitro 8 on a train, and there's the bottom again. There's the side, the profile. It looks very similar in size to the ROG Ally in terms of overall dimensions, but I think the Nitro 8 is going to be both taller and a little bit wider because we, we got like a, a quite a bit larger screen, 1.8 inches larger screen. So it's going to be a, a bigger d device for sure for the Nitro 8. So let's go ahead and jump to the Blaze 11 photos. So here is the Blaze 11, all right? Um, so the Blaze 11 is going to be a very, very large device that I can't imagine really going camping with it, quite frankly. Um, and if, with the device being this big, I would have hoped that they would put a bigger battery in here than a 55 watt hour, but they did not. So keep that in mind that this, you got a big device, but probably the battery life will still only be three hours of gaming, I'm guessing, if I were to guess given the battery size. One thing that is really cool is that these these side controllers do come off like a switch, so that does make it a little bit more, um, I guess, user friendly. Say on an airplane, because you could set this up on the table in front of you and then just hold the controllers in your hands to game. Um, that could be really cool. So another shot of the Nitro Eleven, very big screen handheld. If you're into big screen handhelds, this is going to be super interesting. Look, it already has a built-in kickstand in the back, too. I didn't even notice that until just now. But that is sweet. Um, I wonder if this button is placed a little bit too low. But other than that, I'm I'm very curious about this and I'm very curious to try it out. I'm planning, if I can, to get my hands on with the Nitro 8 and the Nitro 11 and do a hands-on video when I'm at CES here. But I hope you enjoyed this quick overview video. I'll also give you a quick preview of the new Nitro controller. This thing is pretty sweet. It's got, uh, it's just a you know clamp controller, pretty basic setup, but you can put your phone in there and play games and plug your phone in through this little uh, interface right here. And this I think is gonna cost $90. Let's go over the price one more time. So, the Blaze 11 is going to start at $1,100. The Blaze 8 is going to start at $899. Pretty steep pricing for handhelds, in my opinion. I would probably wait for it to be on sale if it was my money. But if this sound amazing to you, I mean, in some ways, they really sound amazing. Uh, I, I mean, I, I don't think it's necessarily a terrible choice if you think it's going to meet your needs. But I would wait until we see what all is released here at CES before you decide for sure because we got this new AMD Ryzen Z2 Extreme processors that are going to be coming out. So keep your, uh, keep your, you know, money in your wallet, I guess, until we get the full inventory of all the new tech is my advice for now. Um, 
So that's a quick overview of the Blaze 8 and the Blaze 11. I'll have tons more content for you coming very soon. We'll see you in the next one. Brandon out. Huzzah.